Hello boaters, this strange gadget is called a DC buck voltage converter and what it does, it's quite a handy thing for us boaters to have, is that it'll take our 12 volt power supply and you can adjust it to output anything from about 1.5 volts up to 32 volts. It's a handy little gadget to run. It's very handy if you want to run DC powered devices which run on lower than 12 volts. In other words like a 6 volt radio or something like that. Sometimes our voltage supply in a boat is higher than 12 volts. In other words when we're charging or if you've got solar power. Very often during the day with solar panels the voltage can get up to almost 15 volts and that can be very damaging for certain electronic items. So with this gadget you can set it to output 12 volts and then you can put in a, a lower or higher amount of input voltage and it'll give you a nice steady output of 12 volts and it shouldn't cause any harm to any equipment you use. I bought this cheaply on eBay, it was only about a pound, it came from China, it took about three weeks to get here. Um, with this one, this is the basic model that you can get, you do have to do a little bit of soldering and you will need a voltmeter. You can get other units which have screw terminals to affix the wires and also some which have LED displays which tells you the voltage which, which is probably quite handy and they're, they're still not terribly expensive, they're probably about six to eight pounds, um, so quite affordable. In order to use this you have to solder wires to each corner of the board. On the left hand here we've got the input wiring so at the top is the positive input and at the bottom corner is the negative and on the other side we've got the output wiring positive and negative again and at the bottom you can see a little voltage adjust screw that little brass screw you turn that if you turn it clockwise it'll lower the voltage anti-clockwise will raise it I can only give you basic information about this. If you search on YouTube for DC buck voltage converter, there'll be a lot more technical videos on there that you can see that other people have done. So on the input side, you can give this unit anything from like 3.8 volts up to 32 volts input and a maximum of 3 amps input. That's important because the amperage outward, the output amperage will vary depending on what output voltage you select. You can select the output voltage anywhere from 1.5 volts up to 32 volts. I'll show you how to do that in a moment. It's also important to protect the input with a fuse. A 3 amp fuse will be the maximum value you should use. Ideally use a lower one. It all depends how much power you're trying to draw through this. This is not designed for high power uses. It's only designed for small items really. So I've connected the device up to the 12 volt power supply. I'll just switch it on. And as you can see, it's giving 16 volts. So the way to adjust the voltage is this little brass screw right here. If you turn it clockwise, you can lower the voltage and anti-clockwise to raise it. So we turn it clockwise and you'll see that the voltage is starting to drop. Oops. I'm going to set this to about 11 and a half, I think. There we are. 11 and a half volts now. So that should run the LED bulb very safely. And there it is, mission accomplished. In the corridor of my boat I've got one of these battery operated motion detector LED lights and I find it's really good but I was changing the batteries every month and so I thought it would be cheaper and easier to use one of these electronic devices to power it. So I had it, the, uh, the light took four AA batteries so that was six volts so I had to adjust the unit down to six volts and now it runs perfectly it's connected all the time and it comes on whenever it's needed. 
One thing that's very, very important when connecting this output from this device to a piece of electronic equipment, such as a light or a radio or whatever you want to power, is you must get the polarity of the wires correct. If you get it wrong, you will destroy it. Simple as that. You can probably tolerate a slight, slight errors in voltage, but if you get the polarity wrong, that's serious. So you need to be very, very careful. On the back of most DC items where there's like a power input, it'll say either positive, usually positive centre pin, but not always. It'll tell you on the plug. Be very careful about that and never assume that it will be positive centre pin. OK, there it is. I hope that helps you. Um, please be advised that I'm not an electronics engineer. I'm just a, an amateur. So I've given I've made this as accurate as I possibly can. Um, there are more technical videos to be found on YouTube, so it's a good idea to sort of check out some other vids as well. Um, if you catch your boat alight or blow anything up, I'm not responsible. So having said that, I wish you all happy boating and I'll see you next time.